guys what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new here hi my name is melissa and i am a vlogger i do vlogs about my weight loss journey and uh school and just life related things so if you're interested in any of those sort of topics make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit the little notification bell so you're notified anytime i have new videos and new content that comes out all right got my spiel out of the way let's go ahead and dive into this video um i did just want to make a side note really quick that i know um a lot of you are probably curious about <clears throat> one where i've been and two what's been going on with my weight loss um i do have some videos coming up with that that i've been working on just bear with me um it's been kind of a stressful time in my life right now um but i'm working on those videos and i did actually hit my year anniversary mark i uh, hit that year anniversary on November 18th. I had my original weight loss surgery um, on November 18th of 2020. So for those of you that have been with me since the beginning, you probably already knew that. But yeah, we are a year in, so that's really exciting. Um, this video, however, is going to be all about my SNHU story slash journey. And um, I'm just started, so I'm just a baby in the program, but um, I'm really excited and I'm really pumped to be doing this video. So if you're interested, uh, just stay tuned. Okay, so I think we should start this off as just giving a little bit of background about my professional history and schooling history. So, um, I have worked a variety of different jobs. Um, I've been kind of like the career sampler, I guess. Um, I've worked in the healthcare industry. I've worked in customer service, retail, um, administrative, um, veterinary. Um, I was a veterinary receptionist. Um, and actually I think I have a couple vlogs on that. So I'll try to link those down below if you're interested. Um, but I've done a lot, right? And I've been to a lot of different colleges and nothing has ever really quite panned out for me. Um, I did go to a lot of different um, trade schools. And um, in my personal experience, I, I, I think it really depends on the person and the situation and what exactly you're going to school for, right? So like whenever you're going to college, whether you're, you know, 18 or 40, um, I think it's really important to ask yourself, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Why are you going to college? Are you just going to college because it's something to do? Are you going to college because you want to go um, study a specific career path or industry? Um, you know, what is kind of your reason for going back to school? And so I think if I would have asked myself those questions, um, you know, it, and since the beginning, um, things would have went a lot smoother for me. Um, but I just never really did. I never really thought about it. I just knew from what I've always been told is like, in order to be successful, you have to go to college. You have to get a degree. You have to, you know, do A, B, and C, and then you graduate college and then you're successful, right? Which we've learned over the years that that's actually not always the case. There are many people who are successful who have never went to college. Um, <clears throat> so once I kind of figured out that that wasn't necessarily the case, then I kind of started to focus on what exactly was I wanted to do. And so uh, for me, that was always the difficult part because I like so many different things and I have so many different interests. Um, that narrowing down a specific path for me was just something that was not easy, <laughs> uh, which is also part of the reason why I think I've went to so many different schools, um, just because I'm like, I like everything or almost everything. I mean, minus, you know, the exceptions of like chemistry and things like that. I'm not super into math. Um, <laughs> but um, I've, I just like so many different things. And so I was uh, thinking about, I've been thinking about school hard for a minute. I thought about going back to Penn Foster. I thought about going back to Ashworth College. Um, and I didn't do that. Um, and then I kept, kept seeing commercials for SNHU, Southern New, um, for those of you that don't know what SNHU is, it's Southern New Hampshire University. I'm sure you guys have all seen the, the commercials or, you know, uh, on the television or on YouTube or whatever. They're quite 
common. They're all over the place. And so I kept seeing those commercials and I'm like, man, I don't know. Like at first I was hesitant to look into it because I'm like, it just seems like another gimmick school. I didn't know like whether or not it was legit. Um, you know, a lot of schools advertise that they're accredited, but a lot of them are not. Um, so just things like that. And so, um, I finally just decided to call one day in October. I called SNHU. I spoke to an admissions counselor, you know, um, and she was super nice. She was super helpful. Um, you know, and the thing that the difference that I noticed with SNHU versus like all the other schools that I've been to is that she was much more interested in like whether or not this school was going to be the right fit for me. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a sales gimmick, right? I feel like a lot of times, and it just least in my experience, especially when dealing with trade schools, it's very salesman gimmicky, you know, like I'm, you know, which always kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes I do fall for it, obviously, but, um, you know, I, I started to look at schools like, you know, I'm not trying to buy a car, like I'm trying to get a degree. So I don't need you to be the salesperson for me. I need you to actually help me and figure out whether or not this is going to be a good option for me. And, um, that's just the, for me, that's just the thing that I've noticed personally about SNHU is that they're very focused on like, whether or not this is going to be the right fit for you. And so they ask you those sorts of questions to figure that out. Um, because honestly, I've had, uh, you know, conversations with them and like, you know, we might not be the best fit for this. If this is the route that you want to go, we might not, we're not going to be the school for you because we don't offer, you know, X, Y, and Z or whatever. So that's really comforting to know that they're going to be honest with me and that they're going to let me know what my options are. Um, but anyway, jumping forward, so I talked to the admissions counselor there. She was super helpful. Originally, when I um, had started and looked and started looking into programs, I decided that I was going to go into computer science um, because you know that's not a field that I had you know jumped into yet before. But um, <clears throat> I decided on computer science, and um, I felt like I think my reasons for wanting to go into it was just because. Um, I felt like it was a secure, safe option for me as far as career paths go. Um, and, you know, I feel like, you know, the technology and industry in general is just booming. And I think it's just going to continue to do that. And so, um, oh, almost knocked over my microphone. Um, and so I looked into doing computer science and potentially maybe trying to get into the gaming field, right? Because that was one of my or is one of my passions is i'm really into video games and you know um and playing them mostly um i guess so i thought maybe that would be a good uh career option for me and i started i applied i got in i did all the all the paperwork and all that stuff with it and i started my first term i officially started my term on october 25th um, so I'm actually, I'm in week five. Um, the way their weeks work is that, um, their weeks start on Mondays and end on Sundays. So, uh, tomorrow will be Sunday. So it'll be my end of my week five and then I'll be doing, uh, six or, you know, am I in week six or week five? I think I'm actually in week six. So take that back. I think I'm in week six. So Sunday will happen. That'll be the last day of week six. And then Monday will start. And then that'll be the first day of week seven. So um, so I've been uh, in the program since October 25th. Um, my very first class that I'm taking, I actually have that written down. Um, I'm taking SNHU 107, uh, which is... <laughs> what I joke around with people is like the, uh, practice course. <laughs> um, I believe it's actually titled, uh, strategies for success for online students or something like that. Um, I call it a, <laughs> now <laughs> don't come after me, but I call it a practice course because I feel like there's not really a lot to that class. Um, a lot of it is about time management and how do you study and how can we study and um then uh for the the final project you have a personal mission statement that you have to do and so basically that's like looking at what your long-term goals are what your short-term goals are and things of that nature uh which i actually 
think is really cool just because for people such as myself who um, sometimes don't always look at the goal, they kind of just look at, you know, what, you know, they're just, they're kind of in like this weird panic stage where they're like, I need my life to be better. I don't want to do this. Let's just throw myself into something so I can graduate and move on. Um, <clears throat> but I think it's really important to look at your goals and make sure, you know, that program or that degree aligns with your goals and how you want your life to look like 10 years from now. Like, am I going to be happy 10 years from now you know, being a software engineer or program uh, designer or something like that. And so um, that kind of brings me into my next spiel is that um, I ended up switching majors. So when I started off at SNHU, um, I was a uh, computer science major. And then about a week ago, I started to have a lot of anxiety about the program, um, just kind of looking at my next term, looking at my future classes, um, figuring out that I really didn't have any interest in any of those classes. Um, I wasn't super into it. I wasn't excited about it. And so I felt like because I wasn't excited about it, that I was not going to do well in it. And um, I was just going to end up kind of screwing myself again, right? And I was going to be in a program that I was going to do six months, maybe a year, and then end up dropping it because I didn't like it or I didn't want to do that. And so I called um, the career assessment. Those were the first people that I called. They had, or I think they're actually career services is what they're called at SNHU, but I called them and I talked to this gentleman named Tom and he is fabulous at SNHU. I really appreciate his help. Honestly, <laughs> just cannot say enough good things about him. But I talked to him and I told him and I said, hey, I'm a computer science major and I'm looking at the possibility of maybe changing my degree. I'm not sure that this is the right fit for me. Um, you know, I just wanted to talk to somebody about um, the uh, psychology program because, again, this is something that I have I think I've been interested in, but the the thing for me is like mostly like honestly, full disclosure, mostly when I'm looking at colleges and degrees, I'm looking about salary potential after that degree is finished. How much money am I going to make after I graduate? Am I going to be in the poor house still? Am I going to be able to afford my rent and food? Am I going to be able to afford my cats? How well am I going to be after this program? And so psychology... Um, even though I love it, <laughs> was never something that I pursued because I've always heard the horror stories about all the psychology majors that went into psychology and graduated and they don't make crap for income. So I wasn't sure that um, that was something that I wanted to do. So I talked to Tom and I told him I might be interested in psychology um, and he's like okay well tell me why you might be interested in psychology and I said well I don't really know <laughs> that it would be a good fit I was like I took an intro to psychology class I don't know probably almost 10 years ago now um, and I really loved it and I got an A in it and I did great um, and it was probably to this day one of my favorite classes that I've ever taken um and I just never, I decided to never pursue it because I was concerned about um, employment eligibility and kind of what my salary would be after college. And uh, one thing that um, that professor told us when I took my intro to psych class was that, uh, or not <laughs> intro to, was it? I guess that would be an intro to psych. Introduction into psychology. So when I took that class, um, one of the things that the professor had mentioned was that if for any of his psychology majors in here, which I was not at the time, what the heck was I doing at that time? I think I was a nursing student at that time, actually. Um, <laughs> it's been so many years ago now. Um, but uh, one of the things that he had mentioned was that uh, he would highly recommend that you go on to get your master's degree if you became a psychology major or if you are a psychology major because um, it you have a lot more job opportunities, a lot more job prospects in that field. And so um, at that time, I was like, I don't know, 22, 23. And I was like, I don't want to be in school for that long. So um, I never pursued that. I never looked into that further. 
now here we are years down the line later rapidly going into my 30s and um i still don't have a college degree so we've kind of circled back to psychology um tom went ahead and sent me a their career assessment so um snhu has a career assessment that they'll send you um and it asks you um you know your interests your values you know uh hobbies things of that nature and it's actually pretty in depth and i really liked it and so once you fill out those surveys and those quizzes um at the end of that it probably take you about 20 30 minutes it took me about 20 30 minutes so once you fill all those questions out at the end of it, it shows you your scores, right? And so it has it broken up into careers and degrees. And so, um, and it'll rank it by star ratings. So, you know, five star is excellent, right? Perfect match. Um, and then one star is like, mm, probably not the greatest fit for you, right? So immediately, um, the degree that popped up for me was psychology and I got five stars in psychology. I'm like, okay, honestly, nobody was really surprised, but I looked into computer science specifically because I was like, well, I might have five stars in psychology, but maybe I have like three or four in computer science because I felt like, you know, based on my personality, based on what I like to do, I could do pretty well in that. Turns out that I was wrong. Um, computer science, I only scored a one star in and it was in the red and that was a big red flag for me that said, mm, uh, might not be the degree for you. So at that point I looked into career paths, I looked into programming, um, and also received a one star, um, based on how I answered those questions and just my personality, um, I would not like it at all. And so, um, I got a bunch of other five stars for like, um, I got some weird ones like parole officer, community health advocate. Um, so, you know, in the human services industry, basically. Um, <laughs> so I got five stars on those. And so, from there, that kind of like made my decision for me. I mean, didn't make my decision for me, but definitely helped me make my decision. Um, so at that point, I had contacted my advisor and said, hey, you know, I talked to career services. I took the assessment. Turns out I don't think computer science is going to be the right fit for me. So I want to go ahead and transition into psychology. And uh, she was able to help me with that. Um, Sarah is my advisor there at SNHU. She is great, um, super top notch. And I'm actually really sad that she's not going to be my advisor anymore. Because I'm changing majors, I have to get a new advisor. So I'm a little sad about that. But, you know, I'm sure whoever I get on the psychology department will be just as great. So um, she helps me fill out all my paperwork, get that initiated transfer started. And so now, instead of being a computer science major, I am a psychology major. Um, and kind of just circling back to SNHU um, in general, I think the school is awesome. I literally cannot say enough good things about this school. Um, I Every person that I've talked to has just been tremendously helpful, whether it's having to make a phone call in financial aid or having to talk to my admissions counselor or talking to career services or talking to IT even because I did have to talk to IT a couple times. Um, I have always gotten top-notch service from them and just people who genuinely really want to help you. And so um, that is just one of the great things about SNHU that I personally love. Um, a couple other you know, perks for me is that with my job, um, I work at CarMax right now. So with my job, I actually get a tuition discount. And uh, I believe it, it's not super big. I believe it's like 10% or something. But I get a tuition discount on all my tuition for as long as that I'm working at CarMax. And then with CarMax also, um, I get uh, tuition reimbursement. So um, they won't pay you at the beginning of the semester, but the way it works is that at the end of your semester or term or whatever, um, they'll reimburse you for any costs that you've had for that semester. So 
um, I will be getting reimbursed um, for schooling, which is always a plus. Um, so those are kind of some of the perks that I've noticed with going to SNHU in particular. Um, the classes are only eight weeks, so typically the way the terms work is that you have two classes per term if you're a full-time student. Um, you do have the option of taking one class per term. Um, you can go part-time, but you don't have to be full-time, which is something really cool because some schools will actually make you be a full-time student in order to be eligible to go there. Um, SNHU is not one of them. Um, they will allow you to be part-time if that's for you. Um, and the only reason why I'm taking only one class this semester is because um, I'm running short on my federal FAFSA funding. And so um, I wasn't able to actually um, afford to take a second class. So the way it would work is like with my, with my funding that I have left, they paid for one class, but I would have to pay for the second class. And so I wasn't able to pay for the second class. Um, and that's pretty much how that's going to be throughout my degree. Um, and I had asked them about um, payment plan um, to see if I could get on that. However, for first term students, they don't offer payment plans. So like next term, I can do a payment plan on that on my second class if I just don't pay it in full, which honestly with my tuition discount, I'll just pay it in full. That's fine. But <clears throat> Um, I would be eligible to do that if I wanted to, but for first term students, they don't allow um, you to set up a payment plan. So just as I know for any anybody out there that's like maybe paying for their own degree without funding and things like that, um, if you do go to SNHU, they do do payment plans, but you have to be a second term student in order to qualify for that. So. <clears throat> And uh, I think, honestly, the reason behind that might just be because they want to make sure that, like, you're for sure wanting to go there, that you're for sure serious about it. They don't want to, like, have you pay something, um, you know, or make a payment plan for you if, like, you're not going to stay there, which makes sense. So, <clears throat> I mean, that's just my theory anyway. I don't know for sure the reasoning behind that, but... You know, you can always call and ask if you're interested. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, my future plan uh, for videos on SNHU is that I'm going to um, probably make these, like, once a term, I would think. I think I'm going to wait towards, like, the end of my term. Like, maybe after I just finish up a term or finish up a couple classes. Um, I mean, just depending on how scheduling and stuff goes, I do work uh, full time. Uh, like I said, I work for CarMax. I work from home, so which I'm so excited about. Um, I can do another video on that if you guys are interested. But um, yeah, so um, I just, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, if you guys have any questions about SNHU or anything that I could potentially help you out with, please leave those comments down below for me because honestly, like I said, I love this school. I'm not sponsored with the school. I don't have the following for that. They have no idea who I am, but um, I, I just love this school so much that I would love to be able to help anyone else out that might have some questions on it. And um, I always feel like it's really helpful to talk to those students who actually go to SNHU because you can get things from their perspective and not just like what you see on a commercial or what you see on, you know, uh, or what you hear from an admissions counselor or something like that. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I do have a homework assignment that I need to work on. So uh, that's due tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, like I said, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you're notified whenever I have a new video that comes out. And until next time, bye guys.